look like a different version of me. I haven't seen myself with straight hair in so long. It's been a while since I straightened my hair. And actually I can see the length of it because since I got my hair cut, I actually have had it tied up with the fringe out. And I think I did get a comment once asking me why since getting my hair cut, have I, do I always have it up? And the reason is because I actually, after I got my hair cut, I wasn't able to really style my hair like on the day that I got it cut. So when I had it out, it just looked really funny. Like the length of it paired with the fringe, I wasn't able to recreate the same look that I got when he first cut my hair. Um, so that's why I just have it up and then I have my fringe out. I think right now I am growing my hair out, but I straightened my hair today after so long and I looked in the mirror and I just had to take a while to take it in and realize that this is me. I'm getting ready to go out. I'm going to meet with Alyssa. She's here in London. Um, so we're gonna have dinner, but before dinner, we're gonna go to Harrods, of course, to do some shopping. Um, but I'm, I'm getting dressed because from Harrods, we're gonna go straight to dinner. So I'm trying to figure out an outfit to wear that will be appropriate for shopping in Harrods, comfortable, but then also appropriate to wear to dinner because the dress code for dinner is smart, elegant. We're going to Novikov. So yeah, I've just got my basic base layers on right now. This is Skims bodysuit and then Zara Maxi black skirt. This is the new re-uniform. I'm gonna put some earrings on. I've actually been using my vanity case when we've been traveling. I've been using it to store all my jewelry in and it's actually been really good. Um, because I have so many bits of jewellery and I don't want them all randomly scattered. I think actually I'm going to wear my Cartier watch today. And I don't think I'm going to wear my engagement ring because when I'm going out and I know that I won't be getting a car from the door to door and coming back, I don't really like to wear my engagement ring in London. London has become so unsafe. Also, I feel like the Cartier watch is a nice like not too in your face watch. It's a nice kind of evening watch, but not too flashy. So it should be safe to wear. And also I have my coat on, so you won't be able to see it. Okay, I've got my watch on and then earrings, even though you're not gonna really see it much, but I do, when I put my hair back, you will see the earrings. So I do wanna put some earrings on. These Heaven Mayhem, I wear them all the time, but they just go with everything. I also do wanna buy some new earrings because I always have the same earrings on rotation which is not a bad thing. Obviously you're getting use of your earrings, but it would be nice to switch things up. So I need to have a look. If you guys know any cool jewelry brands, something a bit different, drop them down below. I would love to discover some new jewelry brands. Okay, so here's my dilemma. I need to think of what to wear on top of this. And typically I would go for a Kate cardigan, but I wore a Kate cardigan last time I went with Alyssa and I just feel like I always am wearing a Kate cardigan. So I'm trying to think of what I can wear on top of this that isn't the cake cardigan. And then I'll have my coat. My office is a big mess right now. This is my knitwear drawer that I need to rearrange. Um, I could wear a jumper to, oh, should I wear my red? Oh no, that's not my red cardigan. That's a red turtleneck. I think because all of my cardigans that I buy are Kate. So that is just why it ends up being a Kate cardigan situation i'm running out of time so it would just have to be a kate cardigan but i think this is my sign to find some other options maybe some different cardigans so that i'm not i'm not always wearing kate um but it's just so good okay so this is what i'm gonna wear my green my khaki kate cardigan which actually i love this color so much i have got so much use out of it and then i'm gonna pop on i'm gonna pop on this frankie shop coat like a maxi coat and then I will put on my black adidas sambas for comfort and I think I should be able to get away with that for dinner and then fragrance oh my goodness this new fragrance um I went home yesterday so I opened up some PR packages it's been a while since I've been like really excited by a new fragrance in the sense that it's providing me with something different this is black opium but it has cherry in it and I love the smell of cherry so much. And this is, I've not smelled a perfume ever that smells like this. And I think that's why I'm so excited about it because it's just giving me something different. Okay, this is so chaotic, but this is genuinely why I don't most of the time vlog 
me getting ready. You normally see me when I'm ready and dressed because I am so indecisive and so many thoughts go through my head. But I've quickly changed my mind. I'm going for this red cardigan. This is the one from Arch 4. Um, it's just a little bit lighter than the cake. I think the cake will just be too warm for me. So I'm gonna do this with the same coat. Because I have to think about, you know, how warm I'm gonna be. Actually, I'm gonna do this. This is what True told me to do in the first place. I'm gonna keep the cardigan in the car because True's gonna join us for dinner later because Marco's gonna also join us for dinner. So it's gonna be a double date dinner, but it's just gonna be me and Alyssa shopping. So for the shopping, I will just do this because this coat will keep me warm enough. And then I will keep this cardigan in the car because then when I go to dinner, I take my coat off, I'll be too cold without the cardigan. So then I'll add the cardigan on at dinner. And then, whew, bag. I'm gonna wear my Loewe bag with the gold. Actually, the gold chain adds a bit of um, weight to it. And I can't be bothered to have extra weight today. So actually, no gold chain. Keeping it cute, chic, simple, comfy. And that is my outfit and I'm gonna head off now to Paris. Look who I'm with, all the way from New York. <laughs> and she's with the bag. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love how your outfit just goes with it. She's wearing her Scaparelli t-shirt. So good. This is cute. Oh, and you bought you bought a Scaparelli little a mini bag when you went was in Paris, yeah. So cute. And you know how like bag charms are coming back. Mm -hmm. This is giving all the bag charm like vibe because it just looks like you've attached charms to this bag. I mean, they have got this one charm here. Which is really nice because you can actually take it off and then put it onto other bags. Mm -hmm. That would be so cute. Love it. Put on your Margot. That would actually be so cool. Yeah. This is so much softer than I thought. Oh, it is. Right? I guess yeah. because of the stitching, it couldn't be too stiff. It is actually like, look at the details. This is actually stitched on. Wow. I love this. This is so cool. That's nice. And you can also add it onto your t-shirt, like a plain t-shirt. I mean, I definitely can add it third eye. <laughs> third eye. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. The bag, I didn't notice the... <gasps> wow. <laughs> Stunning. Alyssa, can we see? Do you need this? <gasps> it's the back. Yeah. It's just. Friendship <laughs> Yeah. How iconic is that? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This actually looks amazing with that bag. Yeah. Which one is that one? It's the, I, it's, this is the one that we actually saw in the other bag. Mm -hmm. I love this. And you can also add this onto your jeans. wear them outside of fashion week like i <laughs> like <laughs> like what look at that lady's feet <laughs> i'm obsessed with this belt it has the belly button piercing which is so cool and it just cinches in the waist it's so stunning oh wow and the earrings i, I love this brown color but it is so big. It's like having an overnight bag on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, Valentine's edition that oh, Alyssa says is a collaboration with CBS. CBS. <laughs> this is giving CBS. I like the green, that's nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they could have done something a lot cuter with the uh, Valentine's like, edition. They just make like a charm with a heart. Yeah, like a heart charm. Yeah. They need to actually bring out some charms. I know. I'm surprised they haven't done silver yet. Yeah. Well, it, because a lot of all the hardware on their bags is gold. Mm, that's true. So you can get your bags personalized with. Uh, Jody. Yeah, the Jody is silver. They're very Not comfortable. Like the Attica. No. <laughs> if you know, you know. They're actually very comfortable. Also, I'm having a bit of a leopard print moment, so. I feel like I could see you rough. I like this. Really? Yeah. That actually matches the belt you're wearing right now. Do I need Oh my god, uh, look, look at that match. <laughs> Maybe they're for you. <laughs> 
They are very cool. I haven't seen these ones. I'm always into like a ponytail though. <laughs> yeah. On our way to breakfast. I just got back from the gym and I went home. She was like, get ready, we're going out for breakfast. I'm starving. But I'm I just came in my gym stuff because I I literally just finished my session and I had a week off from Copenhagen Fashion Week of training. And whenever I come back after a break of training, I'm so tired. Um so I'm just in my gym stuff, but we're going to a really casual bakery anyway. It's called What's it called? Salwa? Salwa? No, Salwa. Salwa. It's, um, it's a Lebanese bakery that I found on TikTok and it looks really good. So we're going to go. We're just on our way now. But also it's really funny because True is wearing a really nice outfit. When it came out like that, I was like, you need to match my energy, True, because right now you're... I only have like zero or hundred in terms of outfit. Like he could have put on his gym stuff, but... He didn't. I don't know who's, who he's trying to impress. <laughs> but um, I love this suede jacket. I actually got this for him as part of his birthday gifts. It's a really nice, I don't think they've seen it yet. They have in Co the Copenhagen vlog. Oh, this is this uh, a suede jacket from Mr. Porter. It's such a nice color, like I actually want to borrow it. And then he's got his Laura Piana. I'm doing his outfit of the day because I love this outfit. Your Laura Piana cashmere hat. Very warm. Uniqlo jumper. Yep. The Pl Prada jeans that he always wears. I actually got, need to get new trousers. And he's got new balance on. And me, I am wearing Gymshark. I'm a, I'm a gym girly. I'm wearing Gymshark and my Canada Goose puffer. Although, there is makeup all over the sides of this because I wear this puffer all the time. And so when I have makeup on, it's gone on the side. So I do need to wipe this off. I think there's like, if you use micellar water on a cotton pad, it gets it off because it's obviously makeup. So I need to do that. Also this lip balm. You know I'm an Aquaphor girly, but this is really the only other lip balm that I like to use. I like the Rode, um, this is Summer Fridays, the lip butter balm, by the way. I like this, I like the Rode, the color lip balms, but I wouldn't really use the, the non colored ones, the tinted ones. <laughs> I like the Rode tinted ones, but I wouldn't really use her basic ones over my aquaphor like i prefer the feeling of aquaphor but this i would use alongside aquaphor so like if i don't have access to aquaphor i'm happy to use this hello what are we doing? Here for a fitting with Boss because we have a brunch with Naomi on Sunday. Um, we literally just got back from New York today, so I'm going to try some looks on. But first, the first thing that's like really I'm drawn to is this. I also have this one. Oh, cool. With the white pants if you want. Okay, amazing. I'll try on the option. Also, the jean strap is from the Naomi capsule. Oh, okay. So that's very cute. And also the white top with the long sleeves from the Naomi capsule as well. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing. Just a heads up, this is a menswear look. Yeah, yeah that's fine. We yeah. have a tailor. Yeah. So you know, it works. I love, I love menswear. So it's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. <Yeah. laughs> Do you know what? It's that boxy blazer that I'm really yeah. like loving. Oversized. That oversized, and then the pants, and then we have some shoes here. See you in a bit. Okay. I really like this look. It's very me. Yeah, it's men's wear, right? Boss. Yeah, this is men's wear. Very boss, yeah. Yeah, it is very boss. Do you think they'll fit me? <laughs> I can wear it as well. And it actually fits really well. Like, oh, perfect. No tailoring required. I just really like this aspect. Yeah. 
I think that's what mm. I was drawn to when mm. I saw the first. It's like a statement, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I also was drawn to the blazer because it's like that oversized. Yeah, absolutely, look. absolutely. Yeah. Bus does it a lot. More and more, they have like more and more unisex yeah. costumes. Yeah. yeah. The, and this top is the Naomi one. This one, the lady. Yes, the exactly. Yeah. I like this. With the hills and the hills and the top, they match. Do you feel comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, guys. We are currently on our way to the first fashion week of London Fashion Week, but first I'm running late. Week, <laughs> I'm stressed. Show. The first fashion show of Hold London Fashion Week. I'm oh, but this dress is very... Um, I need to speed up. Okay. Because we are running late. We are running late and I'm stressed because this is a show that I really want to go to. It's the Roxander show I'm going to. I'm wearing a Roxander dress. It's a very cute dress. It's giving very bridal. Um, and I'll show you the full look probably after the show because what I'm going to do when True drops me off is run into the show. Um, so it's Roxander and actually recently they dressed, well Zendaya wore an outfit for the June premiere. Um, it was a Roxander look. They're such a cool brand. I love the dresses they do. So I'm very excited to go to their show. Um, it's at the Tate Britain, which is like a museum. So I'm intrigued to see the setup of it. <sighs> I need to just control my breathing because I don't know why I'm always running late. I, to be fair, I didn't really have much time to get ready off. I had a gym session and then I had to come back, shower, wash my hair, do all of that. And like washing your hair and drying it takes the longest time. So that's why I'm a bit delayed. Also, I'm, I don't want to get makeup on the neck of this dress, which is why I'm sitting a bit up. I'm wearing my Chanel sunglasses, the Camellia ones. I actually haven't worn them that much. So I'm actually really happy it goes with this full look. And then for my bag, I just wanted a really simple, understated black bag just to contrast with the white. So this is um, a Topshop bag that I got from ASOS when I did an ASOS campaign on TikTok. And it's actually the perfect bag to go with this. And then I'm wearing my Prada Flower Hills, but you'll see the full look once I'm out of the car. Um, but yes, I'm very excited. Yesterday I was at the boss fitting. You would have seen a snippet of that. That's tomorrow. Today I have two shows. This is the Roxander one. Then I have a gap in between. Actually not a gap true because I have a Malone Cilliers presentation to go to. Anyway, we'll see from the next scene in a couple of minutes if, if I make it to the show or not. Um, I, I'm, I'm feeling positive. It's not going to start on time and I will make this show. The last time I wore them was for the engagement party. <laughs> and then Chanel sunglasses and I did no earrings on purpose. So I wanted to have like a really clean and then a new Very so nice. Pockets. Yeah, pockets. Essential. We made it to the show, you guys would have seen. I loved that show so much. Um, there were some amazing gowns. I think my favourite one was this like neon yellow green dress, which was really big. Um, so cool and I also love they did this like fur coat but like a gilet style belted absolutely amazing um I feel really inspired after that show and also I'm so relieved I got there for 12 which was the starting time but it started at like 12 30 but you never know like sometimes shows do start like five past 12 it could have started um but I got there and then most seats were empty and I messaged true and I was like I'm just like one of the first people here um but yeah I'm glad I made the show. Also, this dress is beautiful, but I'm, I think I've got some makeup stains on it, which I always struggle with white dresses and makeup stains. No matter what primer or setting spray I use, I always get makeup on here. <sighs> Hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to get out. Um, but yeah, now I'm on my way to the Malone Soulier's presentation. Um, how far are we? 20 minutes away. But that's a presentation, so it's fine. You've got like a time timeline of how, how long you have. 
time slot. You have a time slot. So this one's from 12.30 to 2.30. So you can go in between any of those times. And I love going to Milan Celia's presentations. They always do really good ones. And I love shoes, so I love going to see shoe presentations. I'm just repeating myself a lot. Um, it's kind of like you get a bit of an adrenaline rush. Do you? I, well, you wouldn't know. No, I, I don't was, know. I, I get a bit of adrenaline. Yeah, True was waiting outside the show and then he could see all the people going in. When we got in the car, Laura Roach was literally standing in front of our car. That's Zendaya's stylist. And it makes sense because I said before going that she was actually wearing a rock standard outfit for one of the June premieres. Um, so he's probably gone to the show to go have a look and see what she can wear. I need to get a new phone because I was trying to get uh, phone, what? I was trying to get phone footage, yeah? It's so bad. And I looked at the lady next to me and her phone was so clear. Can you see? And I wiped the screen. But it's really... No, look, you can see. What? That's dirty. Well, maybe this dress is not a good wiper. Guys, the weather in London is so warm. I think I was used to... I'm really used to the cold weather in New York, so I was expecting it to be similar. But it's so mild. Like, this dress is perfect. But even outside, there was not one bit of coldness. I didn't feel like a... Yeah, I was just... Any little bit of shiver in me. I'm wearing two layers and that's it. Yeah. Still warm. Like I'm wearing a dress and it is so mild. So um, that's really good because that means I'm more like my outfit options aren't limited because when I'm cold, I do not care about how I look. I want to be warm. So like for New York, when we went to the one of the shows, with like the late night ones, I just wanted to wear a coat. I wore my scarf. I wore a jumper. I did not care about the outfit. And I know there's some people who are really good and they can just turn up in whatever outfit they planned, regardless of the weather. But I hate being cold, so the weather makes a difference to my outfit. So I'm really glad that the weather, it's gloomy which is typical of London, but it's a really nice temperature. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you guys at the Malone Solier's presentation. second look for the second show of the day which is the Alualia show I'm wearing my Mugla trench it looks like I'm wearing a scarf um you know like a hood or something because I've got this black turtleneck on then I have my hair strands out and I tried to do like a little bun because my hair's growing and I'm at that stage of my hair length where I tend to cut it when it's at this length back to a bob but I really want to grow my hair out so I don't know if I should get extensions to help my hair be a bit longer so then I can do more with it but I am worried about extensions ruining my hair I've never had them before but I've heard that it can ruin your hair so I'm not sure um but I'm wearing this Mugler trench coat which is I think two years old now and this is what I wore when I went to my first ever fashion week which was Copenhagen fashion week I love this trench it's such a good trench I have my Saint Laurent sunglasses on which I love so much and I've been wearing a lot my Bottega earrings and then my Bottega pouch which actually goes perfectly with this look um we're running a bit late but this time I'm not stressed at all because from the other show I've learned that it probably will overrun but then knowing my luck <laughs> imagine this is the show that actually starts at bang on time oh no it's five past four so and the show's at four um because we went to the Malone Silias presentation which you would have seen. I love Malone Soliers and this was a really nice presentation because there were so many different shoes. I really loved the ballerina pumps that had the velvet ribbons and I really liked the heels that had a fur ball on them. Very different from Malone Soliers. They don't normally play with feathers. I said fur, didn't I? What would you say it was? Feathers or fur? Fluff. Fluff. That's it. Yeah, it's like a bunny fluff. It's like a bunny's tail. Um, so they had that on the shoe and I really loved that. Uh, which is very different for Malone Siliers. And then we got back home, I quickly got changed and we're heading back out to go to the show. And that is the last event. Guys, the jet lag is killing me. I am so tired. True has to still edit the New York vlog. It will get done. It will get done. Um, yeah, he has to edit it for tomorrow, because tomorrow is Sunday. Um, but he's also taking me to the shows and getting content of me so yeah we're doing lots of multitasking today 
and then tomorrow will be a bit more of a chill day hopefully um but yeah that is the update so far Loading, loading, strike for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling And when I listen but I told him, told him one more time Your favourite MC's bonds are silver These vibes here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folders Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok come to London, get ripped off Man get stuff when I start lift off Sweet like flavours, cookie and biscuit Planty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up myself, yo, every time I tripped up Little Teddy told the big rock Me and my G's do everything mix up Full circle, not like everybody linked up That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart beating, know that it's elegant Get mad but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling and rhyming, riddling Cycle through these streets, I'm pedaling Hibernating and boom, she's back again Oh, cause a little fire on the track again was doing the setup um, I'm using this new brush that I got from America I picked it up from Glossier and I was just so intrigued by this brush that I had to get it and I also got in the foundation this is the stretch fluid foundation so I bought these two together in New York and I just used it for the first time and I actually think I did a good color match because I only swatched it on my hand what do you think? No. I think it matches a little, bit, a little bit warm though. A little bit warm? Mm. But yeah. I think it will set after. Not true, given. After some time. What do you call it? Bake? It will bake. bake? No, that's it will else. bake! Oh my god. <laughs> can we do you. Wait, can, you, can we do you commentating my makeup? I mean, that would be really interesting. Like, have you seen those two? Have you seen those videos? Like, my boyfriend. Um, what's it called? Personal makeup? Like, makeup voiceover, yeah. Can oh. you do it? Okay. Do it right now, let's see if you can do it. So right now, she's going in with the contour. No, you have to talk as if you're me, so like, right now yeah. I'm going, so you have to talk it in first person. Oh, right now I'm going in with the contour. This is the dark brown colour. I'm going with my brief eye brush. Uh, very soft, very nice. I'm just contouring the cheek, cheekbones, the jawline, the forehead, <laughs> the hairline, what is it? <laughs> I'm setting up this Noguchi lamp. I'm trying to keep my makeup away from that because that would be tragic. Wow. Is <gasps> that is so nice. We need to figure out where to put them. Also, we're no longer going to Milan Fashion Week. Um, something has come up, which means that we're no longer going. We would have been going tomorrow, um, but instead we're going to be in London and not in Milan, which I'm gutted about because I actually really love Milan. We went for the first time last fashion week and we had such a great time, didn't we? Yeah. We were talking about how much we loved, I mean, we love Italy so much, so Milan was such an amazing trip. Um, but yeah, so we're not going this week, just gonna be in London. I'm also happy to be in London because it feels like we've been traveling for, because January, half of January, we, we were in Sri Lanka and then we were just, we were in New York, 
Well, did we go anywhere before New York? It just feels like we've been away from home for so long. Oh, we were in Copenhagen. Yeah, okay. So I'm not too mad as well at having to be in London, but Milan would have been nice because I really wanted to experience the full fashion week doing every, that's why we did New York. Even though I didn't have many shows to attend in New York, I just wanted to be the fashion week and kind of experience the full New York, London, uh, Milan and Paris. But in September, hopefully, we can do that. I also think it'll be so nice. September usually has more shows. The weather is also very nice. So I think in September, we definitely want to try and do the full run of all four. Actually, for us, it's all five because we do Copenhagen before. Having some matcha. I need to focus on this. You can tell. It's why men can't multitask. <laughs> How would you how would you be able to do like you know how people do chatty get ready with me? I can't. No. You wouldn't be able to do that because you you have to be focused on doing one thing. Impossible. I had a meeting today guys with the wedding planner. So it's, it's actually like starting the whole wedding planning stuff, which I am I actually got me really excited having a meeting with the wedding planner. And he's so lovely and he's based in Italy, which is where I want to get married, so it makes sense to have a planner who is in the place where you want to get married and also can speak Italian, so communication will be good and he's just so nice like we really got on well so I'm very much looking forward to um, starting that and we actually need to book our trip for March to go to view some wedding venues which is going to be fun and I think it'll be nice to vlog as well Is March going to be warm? Yeah He was saying that the weather like today he's a Tuscany was 18 degrees Whoa. in February so it's nice weather well, that's, that's the thing, a lot of places have been a lot warmer than, like, in London it's quite warm. When I went to my, the Roxander show and I was wearing that dress, I was not cold once. It was not cold at all, it was just the nicest weather, it was actually good weather, like, good weather to wear a dress. See how I'm just warm to myself, because True really can't multitask, he can't even engage in a conversation while doing this. Figure it out. I thought it. This is so funny, doing the chassis get ready with me and also building our Noguchi lamps. It was so hard to try and pick out a lamp when we were in the Noguchi store because they all look so good. And the way they set it up with all the lamps, it makes you want all of them, which is probably the intention to make everything look so good that you just want everything. The museum was really cool. I would recommend if you're in New York, although when we went, the upstairs was closed because I think they were, I don't know if they were refurbing it or doing something for an exhibition. So we weren't able to go up there and that would have been nice to be able to see upstairs. Um, but what we did see was nice and oh, our main goal for that trip to the museum was to get these lamps and we did get them. Drew also got one for his sister because she has been wanting one for a while and um, you can't buy them anywhere else but that store. You can buy them from resellers but they sell them for a lot more. It's ripped. Oh, don't lie. No, I pulled it too hard. That's really sad. I'm gonna Google how to repair. Damn. One, got the wrong light bulb. And that was that was the most expensive one, this one. All right, don't panic. I'm gonna finish doing my makeup. We actually are in a bit of a rush because, when well, are we not in a rush? But I need to go to, um, I'm going to the Ray showroom to preview the new collection. And you guys know I'm the biggest Ray fan. Ray is my brand, like I love it so much. So I'm getting ready to go there. Um, so actually I'm going to speed up my makeup and then we'll catch you guys when we're in the car going to the event. Okay, so I'm going to try on these pieces. This suede coat has been on my wish list since it dropped and it is insane. So I can't wait to try this on. I also have this yellow suit, it has matching trousers. And then these pants, which are coming soon. So they're not available now, but they will be <laughs> dropping. And then this trench coat, which was also on my wish list. So I wanna really, I wanna try this one on because I've been eyeing this one up on the website and you can basically put the collar up so you can wear it in different ways, which I love.
I'm obsessed with this suit and look at the legs. I never thought I would go for a yellow suit, but here we are. And this is so insane. The fit of this is amazing. And then see the back of the trousers, they have this split. So when you're walking, you see the back of your leg, which is just so different. But this one is the star of the show for me. Like I, this is on my wish list. I'm obsessed. And this is the blazer when you have it open. This is what the trench coat looks like with the collar up. The trench coat that I tried on earlier, so stunning. Also really like these boots. These are not very, but they're so cool. What's the brand? Ah, uh, the Saint Laurent. Hi, I have a treat for you. What was it? We can, if you park up, I can uh, share with you the treat. One sec, let me find a space. <laughs> so. I'm a bit hungry. Are you? I'm not gonna have any because I have a dentist appointment in literally like 20 minutes. Um, so I just came back from the Ray pop-up bit. So this is only on for fashion week. So it was really nice to preview the collection. And there were some pieces that aren't already available, but I could see them. And then I got to try on the suede coat, which I've had on my wish list. So it's really good to try it on and know for sizing. Um, but I think that might be my next Ray purchase. This is really gorgeous suit. Anyway, they also have a cafe. It's called the Ray Cafe. And he gave me something to take home with me. And it is, it's a chocolate and orange Oh. Bun. That looks really good. Look at that. You can have half and I will have my half after my dentist appointment. The matches store is so nice because there's actually a store you can go to as a customer. Really? Yeah, like the- so and it's not then, just a pop-up? No, so the, no, so it's a matches store. Then you go upstairs and they have like different floors. And on one of the floors was the area for Ray. For eating in because we have wipes ready. We have hand sanitizer ready. Um. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm really glad that I got to go in there and try some bits on. I tried on this yellow suit, which I would never think about wearing a yellow suit, really. But have a look and tell me what you think. This is one, also a piece that I really liked. Look, very holiday vibes. It's so cool though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like it was such a nice fit, the way the legs go and the shoulder pads. And then look at the back of it. It has the split. Well, I don't know how I feel, I feel about That's, that. No, imagine with a pair of heels. It's very cool. Okay. I love that. This is a picture I took. You guys would have seen in the vlog. How was this? Yes, yeah, okay. A rate out of 10? Seven. What's it missing? It feels very soft. Yeah, very soft, but I feel like I'm used to warm, fresh, baked, like okay. baked goods. Okay, I'm going to the dentist now because actually, update guys, it feels like it was ages ago when I was telling you about my Invisalign. So I'm actually at the end of my Invisalign journey. I'm not wearing them in now. Um, so I think today's appointment, I'm going to get the bonding, the attachments taken, taken off because I actually have attachments, little attachments, which you can't really notice, but if you look closely, there's little like spiky bits attached to my teeth for the Invisalign trays to sit in. Um, so I'm getting those taken off and then I'm going to go through a process of two weeks of whitening my teeth and then get bonding and all the finishing touches and my teeth are done. But I'm really happy with the results. This is it without any, any pain bonding. I can't lie, the first three days of doing Invisalign, I wanted to give up. It was so painful, so irritating, um, really uncomfortable. I, I really contemplated just quitting, but I'm glad I stuck through it because you do get used to it. It's just the first couple of days that are quite difficult because your teeth are going from being kind of stuck in to m being made flexible and being a bit more squiggly. That's how I retainers every night for the yeah. rest of your life right yeah so now to maintain this i'll have yeah. to wear retainers at night which i've d started doing myself now i just don't wear it in the day and i wear it at night because i'm finished with my treatment um but yeah i think once i get my bonding and the whitening it will just be what i want and i'm really happy and i can see a difference now when i watch my old videos back because before i thought oh my teeth i knew they weren't perfect but i i was just like they're fine i don't need to do anything and then i thought actually maybe i could tweak the bottom row especially and now when I look back at old videos of me talking and I can see my teeth, I'm like, wow, there actually is a difference. So I'm really glad I did do Invisalign. And where I got my Invisalign done, um, it's not sponsored in any way until I paid for it myself. It's at Bond Dental in the Marlebone branch. That's where I went. So we're going to go there now. 
Also, I really am liking this Glossier foundation because it's it's giving your skin but better, and it felt it felt like a really nice kind of dewy. She really wants to talk. Um, yeah, this foundation I really like. It feels like a really nice lightweight foundation, which is nice for on just days where I want to put makeup on, but I don't need to do a full flawless thing. But it looks flawless anyway. I like it. Yeah, it looks nice. Doesn't it? In real life. Mm -hmm. I really like this foundation. And I'll, I'll link it down below and I'll link the shade. And I'm really proud of my shade matching because we were in the New York store and I was just watching them on my hands and we just went for the one that we felt was closest. I say we because True gives his opinion and it does actually help a lot. So yeah. Also this bag gets so many compliments every time I wear it. Even today, in the matches, the lady who was taking me up the stairs. Really? Yeah. Have you got the chain? It gets on a lot it? of love. The no, chain. I didn't put I didn't put the chain on it today because sometimes it's I just heavy, isn't it? no the chain's in here, so oh. <laughs> it's, the weight is the same. But sometimes I feel like it doesn't need the chain. It depends on the look. I like to mix and match. So guys, I'm about to end the vlog, but I just wanted to give you a lamp update. True actually managed to fix it. So apparently, this is a problem he found out online with this style of lamp. When you open it, it does tear. So what he did was he bought some tape. What's the tape called? Archival tape. Okay, it's archival tape. So then he taped it together. So actually you can't really tell. And this is the lamp and it is just so pretty. And it, it really helps to set the mood in the evenings when you have additional lighting. I hate overhead lighting. So this lamp has really been contributing to having a good evening. And then we also have this lamp. This is it set up. This is not where it's supposed to be like permanently. It's just that we still need to buy a couple more pieces of furniture for the living room. Um, but for now it's just sitting on this box to cover up the wires. But I do plan on getting something in this area. And yeah, that is it. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.